zero your thermal scope the easy way with quick guides. Brought to you by Huntsman Optics. Before we start, let's check you're using the latest firmware. As a minimum, firmware version 5.5.38 will be required to zero your thermal scope using this method. Firmware updating is easy. Use the Hikmicro site app or a PC and download the firmware from the support section of the Hikmicro website or via the Hikmicro site app. Do you need help to update your firmware? Check out our firmware update, quick guide or visit the Hikmicro Outdoor group on Facebook for more help. Okay, let's get started with target setup. Set a target at 50 yards. It'll be easier to get on paper and make reticle adjustments at this distance. A good tip is to cycle through the color palettes and select the palette that allows you to best see the target. Black hot and white hot work well. The type of target you use for zeroing can make a difference. Thermal reactive targets are great but there are a few options when it comes to the type of target you use. It's all a matter of personal preference. Let's quickly touch on the rifle setup. It's very important that your aim is as accurate as possible. Ensure your scope is mounted properly and shoot from a steady platform to give a high degree of accuracy and repeatability. Make sure you check all your equipment and use the necessary safety equipment. Safety first. Okay, let's jump right into the zeroing process. The process is very easy. 1. Take a shot at the target. 2. Then, freeze an image of the target. 3. Adjust the reticle to the impact point on the target. 4. And finally, confirm your zero. It's really that easy. Now, let's cover this process in a bit more detail. From the device's menu, select the reticle you want to zero. Check that both the X and Y coordinates are set to zero before you proceed. Remember, each reticle has its own zero, they all work independent from one another. Here's a quick example of checking the X and Y coordinates. Exit out of the device menu and make the necessary preparations to your scope. Adjust the zoom and any image settings to your liking. Once you ensure it's safe to take your shot and you're using the appropriate safety gear, take careful aim at the center of the target and fire your first shot at the center of the target. As you can see, the point of impact on the target was off by a fair margin. But this won't be an issue and is easy to fix by using the freeze function in the reticle menu. Enter the reticle settings, use the zoom function in the reticle settings to get a good view of the target. You can see from the footage that a tripod was used. It's not ideal, and it's a bit shaky, but for the purposes of this tutorial it will be okay. Center the crosshair on the middle of the target, using the buttons on your device to change freeze from off to on. Now since we've activated the image freeze function on the scope, we are free to make reticle adjustments. For the purposes of this guide, I'll add a red dot to represent the point of impact of the first shot on the target. You may notice that, in this example footage, the reticle in the freeze function image is slightly off to the left of the center. To get a better center of your target, exit out of the freeze function and try again. This will help you to achieve a better zero. Now we simply move the crosshairs to the point of impact. When we are happy with the positioning of the crosshairs, simply exit and save the parameters. Next, we confirm our zero. This is the fun part. Fire three rounds at the target, then check to see if you need to make any further adjustments to your zero. If you've got a good zero, congratulations. You have successfully zeroed your thermal rifle scope. If your zero is off, simply start over with a new target. Remember to keep your existing X and Y coordinates. Repeat the process until you have a good zero. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Huntsman Optics YouTube channel and to follow Huntsman Optics Facebook page to see more quick guides for your Hikmicro thermal products.